outside? Muchacha latas. Zway, I see Newcastle. Yeah, it's Newcastle, but do you see the little birds? Are you fond of riddles? It depends. Is it a good riddle? Knock, knock. Who's there? Knock. You just said knock, knock. See, this is a shit riddle, dude. But as we know, things aren't always what they see. Knock, knock. Who's there? Knock. Knock who? Knock, knock. Is it knock, knock? Wow. What's up, boys, and welcome to the Beast of Frightening Go to the Premier League episode. Happy Monday, bros, and welcome to the Beasts of Brighton promotion episode. Now, we're doing this epi for a couple of reasons. One, there's a few players in the squad that are really, really beast for being in the championship. Primarily, the Purple Knockout, who came out about three or four weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we were not able to use this card, but we are going to be giving ourselves another opportunity here. Two, the Newcastle United epi we did last week was well received. You guys absolutely loved it, but one of the main comments was, uh, wait, you have to do a Brighton epi because what they did was way more, uh, way more of an achievement, if that makes sense. Which is fair, I guess, because Newcastle United was in the Premier League, uh, last season, so they pretty much had most of their squad intact and, um, were ready pretty much to go, uh, and, uh, see themselves promoted into the Premier League again, as that's what it would seem right now from the comments that I got. But Brighton, I'm not sure. Now, I looked this up, I don't think... I think the last time, if at all, they were in the Premier League was maybe never? Now I can't say any shit. They were founded 115 years ago. Their nickname are the Gulls or the Seagulls or Albion. And their main rival, Crystal Palace. If you guys are liking the promotion epis, if you guys want to see more stuff like this, maybe let me know in the comment section below some other squads that I could honor for their promotion or maybe relegation or however that would work. But if you guys do enjoy these epis, hit that like button. Let's try and blast 50 likes as well. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. But we're going to start off with the keeper as we always do. Now this guy has a bit of a legend around him, David Stockdale. Apparently he scored two goals versus Norwich. But if any of you guys know the story or the mythology behind that, let me know in the comment section below. We wanted to mix things up a little bit. I think we have two Newcastle United players in the squad uh, just to kind of honor both teams. Obviously we did a full Newcastle United side already, but we have our 113K DeAndre Yedlin, the speedster in there. We're going on to have Shane Duffy who plays for Brighton uh, as our first center back and you guys can probably guess I said there's two uh, Newcastle United players in this squad as well And it has to be the other Irishman. We are going with Kieran Clark So we have two green cards as our center backs that just looks really really sweet if you look at the squad from that perspective We are going with Pocagnoli, uh, Sebastian Pocagnoli, the Belgian who the other choice was Gaetan Bong Who I believe is the starter, but I could be wrong there again, but Pocagnoli our second uh, sorry our third Brighton uh, Our third Brighton player looks pretty beast dude 77 pace 73 uh, defending and 76 physical not bad at all we are going with Rohan Ince again not sure if any of these guys are starters but pretty solid stats for a 69 rated player has strength for days 73 pace not bad 78 physical we're going with Baram Kyle who is beloved apparently by Brighton um, a very very hard-working player doesn't have that many great FIFA stats uh, I think he's got some he's got most of his stats are power uh, most of his stats are clustered into the physical category and then he's got some uh, decent pace and 77 agility, but outside of that, not a great, great card. Interesting fact about him, uh, Palestinian Muslim who plays for the uh, Israeli national team. We're going ahead with Glenn Murray as our cam. Uh, 60 pace, 80 shooting, one of the few informs that Brighton has on their side. Has pretty good shooting stats, 80 shot power and 74, uh, 74 long shots, so maybe he will be... Hopefully the closest thing to a John Joe Shelby. We have the man of the hour, Anthony Knockart. By far and away, one of the best cards in championship. And arguably just an OP player in FIFA generally. Uh, four, star, four star skill moves, three star weak foot. Left footed, we've got him on the right side. And uh, plus 11 upgrade from a 75 overall card. We're going with Chuba Akpom, uh, who has 87 pace, 77 strength. And 62 finishing, we, we slapped on the Hunter Chem style, so that goes up a little bit. But a bronze beast from the looks of it. And then to finish things off, we're going with Kazenga Lua Lua. Now, I believe he is actually on loan to QPR. Now, I said Crystal Palace is the rival club. Of course, we have to have uh, Alan Pardew in there because of that. We're going to get into some foot champs qualification matches. See if any of these guys pop out. I'm thinking Knockhart's probably going to be a beast. See if any of these guys stand out as a crazy, crazy player and try and qualify for foot champs with this Brighton qualification side. Of course, we have to go with the Brighton kit, which actually looks pretty sweet. The red and white, uh, the blue and white stripes. Uh, traditionally, they've had that for like, like I said, 115 years. That's crazy. That, that's crazy that some clubs have been around for 100 years. That's just like nuts to think about. Match number one, we are coming up against Maratta Ben Yedder, a very young Liga BBVA side. It's almost as if that's what he was going for. He's got, I believe, Kalius in net. You know you're 
gonna make that one nil. It's the man of the hour. It's the main dude. It's Knockout. It's Knockout. Good Karambayal, dude. He is actually a freaking workhorse. Seagulls player. He is single-handedly gonna take us the entire way. Ref, that's a pen. Eighty-one. Same as uh, same as same as Murray. We're completely dismembering this guy. He doesn't even have a shot on target. <laughs> if you don't know about D go by now, we watch check out the <laughs> LeBron Beast Boys! Seagulls play. Aki Akbom, aka AK47, aka the Raheem Sterling lookalike, puts us up 4 0 with a cheeky little cross. Knocker! That could seal the deal! Knocker, five shots, four goals, and he's smelling the ball. Zero shots on target from this guy. 17 shots, nine on target for us. Have a feeling like this is probably the easiest it's gonna get. Let's get a match number two. Let's see if we can keep this miracle run going. He's got Martial, he's got Ihanacho, he's running Moses at right forward, and then he's got Chris MD in the midfield. PSGFC. Let's see what you got. Sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Moses puts him up 1-0. Difference in this game, he converted his banger, I didn't. One of the more even matches I've played recently, only one shot on target. 50% position, near split, dead even. The only difference maker, a blast from the uh, from the Nigerian prince himself, Victor Moses, puts him up 1-0. Let's see if we can equal him. <laughs> Boys, this is a bronze to remember. The Raheem Sterling looking like. Wow, two goals in two matches. Oh man, that's frustrating. Seagulls player. I'm not gonna show this full game because this guy's team is on like 50 chem. I have no idea what he's rolling. It's just like I I don't feel good winning against a side that has 50 chem. So I'm literally think I'm only gonna show that goal from this uh, from this match. Seagulls player. <laughs> Akpom has 55 long shots and like 60 shot power. Yo, how is he making that, dude? So this is a little bit more like it. He's got Eberbanega and Zonzi Rakitic and Bappe Lotion. Um, speaking of Liga, that Nice PSG match yesterday, I saw the highlights and like the red cards and like Mota and Cavani shoving the, uh, the Nice coach. What the hell? What were PSG thinking, dude? Yo, Stockdale has come up with a couple of clutch saves. Was absolutely murked by Moses and uh, Moses and Ihanacho in the second match.
AK that has to be in! Yes! The Braun Sterling steps up! Woo! Man, how do you miss that? You beautiful little man, the 75th minute. Let's go, boys. I think he's like, what? I think he's 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, he's just such a compact little package. Beautiful little build-up play. The send from, I think that was Ince. And then a wonderful little finish from Akpom. Two goals, 69 and 76. So we win our third match. Now, we didn't technically qualify for foot champs. We won match number one. Match number two, he put his controller down and then there was a rage quitter. There was a disconnect. So something happened there. Uh, not sure what, what happened. It didn't count as a, uh, didn't count as a win or a loss. Uh, the second match looked like maybe we were going to get through and then Victor Moses and Ihanacho just made Stockdale look like a puppet. Um, so match number two, we lose. We go back into the draft, come up against the guy with 50 chem. Didn't want to show all of that gameplay. And then we go into this one and uh, managed to get ourselves a nice little victory in the second round of the Foot Champs qualification. Now, Akpom was easily the star of the show. It looked like it might have been Knockart uh, to start things off with, even though he was incredibly, incredibly impactful. Um, uh, Akpom averaging like a goal and a half per match for a bronze player. I don't know what he's rated. He's like 60, like 59 or 60 or something like that. Was very, very impressed with the way Akpom played. Missed a couple chances in this epi. He's the guy that will leave a lasting impression on me, a young English striker. And then Lua Lua was very good. Knockhart obviously was incredible. And then uh, Murray, Kyle, and Ince were pretty good in the midfield, providing the assists, obviously. And then Clark and Duffy uh, tried to do as much as they could. And then Stockdale just wasn't up to the challenge in uh, in that second match that we got abused by Moses and Ihan Nacho. But anyway, boys, that is the Bristol qualification squad, aka the Bristol honoring their promotion squad. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If I butchered any of the names, if I didn't choose players that actually start for Brighton, um, I am sorry, but try to put together a sweet little side, try to put together an entertaining little epi um, honoring Brighton's achievement going to the Premier League, which is going to be pretty cool. Definitely going to be following a bit of them uh, next season. But that is the epi, boys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know if there's some other squads uh, that got promoted that would be interesting to do uh, epi around like this. Let me know in the comment section below. But I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, boys. Tschüss. Later. Adeus.